What's up fam and welcome back. Today is part two in our Frugal February series. And if you're joining us later in the game, don't worry because I'm going to make sure to link that video about how to run a no spend challenge along with the full playlist as they come out later down in the description box below for you to check out so that you can follow along at your own pace and still participate in this money challenge. So that brings us to the question, how can I stop shopping? And this is a question I get asked a lot by you guys. So today I wanted to flip this question around and give you the tools to answer this question yourself with five simple words to help you stop spending and naturally start saving more money. Do me a big favor and tap that like button if you're excited to get started saving money and let's dive right in. The first question to ask yourself is why? Why is always a great place to start because when you ask yourself, why do I want to buy this thing? What you're really doing is you're taking the time to look at your spending habits on a much deeper level. And often when you take the time to look inside yourself, you'll find that you aren't buying things out of real true need, but rather you're spending because of an impulse or because of fear of missing out or because of boredom or something else that's driving you to spend money when you should be saving. Which brings us to the next question that you need to be asking yourself, which is what? What purpose does this item serve and what value does it contribute to your life? And remember, there's more to value than how much stuff you can get or a number on a price tag. There's some items that are very expensive but really don't add much value to your life. Let's say that you have a phone that works great. You don't need a more expensive or newer model that pretty much does the exact same thing. You realize you already have something at home that does the exact thing you're looking for. Like in the winter, I'm always super cold and we live in a 100 year old European home with high ceilings and hardwood floors and and like a lot of old homes, the windows are super drafty and the insulation is bad and heating can cost a fortune. So we try to bundle up as much as possible. So the number one thing that I want to do in the winter is try to stay warm. So the other day I was shopping for a birthday present for one of my son's friends when I happened to walk past a store and I saw a bunch of warm looking clothes in the window. So of course I felt compelled to go in and check them out. And my philosophy in winter is get as close as possible to becoming a walking blanket. But as I was trying on these clothes, I was keenly aware of how hideous they looked on me. Like I'm sure that somebody could rock this style, but it certainly wasn't me. And as I was trying them on, I thought, huh, well, I really just like wearing my old terry cloth bathrobe on top of my clothes much more than I like this stuff. And it's way warmer anyway. So that one simple thought was all it took for me to stop the desire to spend any money and put those clothes back and not buy anything that day. But let's say that I had like the clothes. I wasn't planning on spending the money, but what if I thought, hmm, I really do have a need for this. Well, what could I do then? That brings us to the next question, which is when? When you think about when you need something, if it's not an immediate need, especially if it just something that came up and you randomly thought, huh, I could use this in my life. I would suggest putting it down on a list and thinking about it for a period of time, maybe a couple weeks. What I like to do is think of it for 30 days. That's called the 30 day rule. In fact, I talked about this in my video about how to stop impulse spending with the 30 day rule. And when you find something you want to buy, write it down, put it on ice and think about it for a while. A lot of times by the end of that 30 day period, you're going to realize that you didn't really want or need that item after all. Another excellent question to ask yourself is where? If you're someone who tends to buy stuff on a whim, it can help you think about where an item is going to live in your home once you purchase it. Let's say that your closet is already overflowing with clothes. Do you really need to add more to the mix? Or maybe you have a thing for throw pillows, an entire closet dedicated to them perhaps? Is one more set really going to make you happy? If I can't visualize where an item is going to go once I get it home, then I'm going to be much less likely to buy it in the first place. And that can work for you as well. And that brings us to the last question, which is who? I saw a quote recently that summed up this idea perfectly and it went, too many people spend money they haven't earned to buy things they don't want to impress people they don't like. Always remember that you are the only person that you need to please when you think about spending money. Don't let other people tell you what kind of car you should drive, what kind of home you should live in, what kind of clothes you should be wearing. I 
have definitely been looked down on before because of the way that I dress or the shoes that I wear. And I even mentioned it in this video where I was at the playground and I was talking about thrift shopping and some moms there rolled their eyes at me. And I've seen other people look at my worn out clothes and the holes in my shoes, but they sure as heck don't know that I've wasted money in the past to buy new clothes thinking they would motivate me to work out more, but then I ended up not using them at all and just wasted space and time and money. So this last year I made a commitment to myself to work out for one full year before I would allow myself to buy new exercise clothes. The bottom line is no one else gets to decide how you spend your life or your money. So when you ask who, make sure that the answer is you and you're doing it with your own best interests at heart. I hope you enjoyed this video on five questions to ask to stop shopping and start saving money. And if you're looking for more tips or ideas or videos about how to stop spending money and start saving, make sure to go check out one of these videos. And until next week, I'll see you then. Take care. Bye-bye.